Hey guys, Dominic Trevellini, uh, five foot five, currently right around 215 pounds. Um, down a couple pounds since we last shot last Friday. We did a shoulder and traps training video. Five weeks out from Central States today. Uh, ten weeks out from the NPC Nationals. We did back and biceps. Um, to go through the workout, we started with uh, machine pullovers. Now, pretty much every back workout, I always start with uh, machine pullovers if the gym has it. Um, it's kind of a rare machine nowadays. Or I do uh, cable pullovers. Um, reasoning behind that is the pullover is the only exercise you can um, isolate the lats without any arm involvement. So I get to pre-exhaust my lats. Um, and I really think this exercise in particular has brought up my lats and my serratus and my front double bicep and my uh, front lat spread, which has kind of been a weak point. But I've just continually done pullovers over and over and over again this past year. Now my lats are a lot wider from the front. Uh, following pullovers, we went into a reverse grip uh, hammer strength pull down. Uh, we did three sets of 10 there, straight sets with the same weight. Um, just really focusing on elbow drive and uh, squeezing the lats. Um, next, we went on to a T-bar row. Um, pretty much every back workout I do, I do a one-arm dumbbell row or a T-bar row or a barbell row, or sometimes I fucking do all three. Um, those are pretty much like the, been the bread and butter of my back workout since I was 15 years old is the barbell row, the T-bar row, the one-arm dumbbell row. Um, it really doesn't get much better than that, and pull-ups as well. But uh, So we did T-bar row. Um, we did four sets of 12 there. We just kind of worked up to two heavy sets with four plates aside. Um, and then we went to a seated machine row. Um, sometimes I do like a seated cable row. Uh, I kind of find that, you know, through the years I really like rowing movements where I'm in a fixed position and my chest is supported. Um, I get a way better elbow drive and squeeze on my back. Um, so I've kind of ventured uh, into a little bit more of the chest supported machine rows. Um, and then we finished with more pullovers just on the cable. I only did two sets because at that point my lats were so fried like um, anything more would have been kind of redundant or unnecessary um, then we went into biceps we did a preacher curl um, preacher curl or concentration curls always are my go-to for biceps again I like to do exercises for my biceps where my elbows in a fixed position and I can't move um, I don't really do a whole lot of like standing alternating curls or easy bar curls or barbell curls where there's momentum or swinging. I just like to isolate that area as much as possible. Um, we The first set I did 20 reps and then uh, my biceps fatigued so quickly I did like a set of 11 and like a set of 8 and then I kind of implemented like a little rest pause technique so I could crank out more reps. Um, at this point in prep my strength is way down compared to what it normally is um, in off season. If you guys follow me on Instagram or anything, you've seen me bench press 405 for up to like 10 reps, uh, squat and deadlift over 600 pounds for reps. And right now I'm definitely not doing any of those things, but uh, my muscles fatigue so much quicker and give out so much faster. So we only did three sets of preacher curls. And then we finished with a uh, machine curl now what I did was six sets of six here, uh, single arm machine curls, and I didn't rest between arms. So just one bicep to the next to the next for all six sets of six. Um, really couldn't even feel my arms at this point because they were so fatigued. So that was it for back and biceps. Again, really short workout. We were in and out in probably like 55 minutes today. Um, my volume has kind of been reduced a little bit going into the show. Um, my cardio is the highest it's ever been. I'm doing 40 minutes fasted, six days a week. And then I usually train middle of the day. And then I come back at night before my last meal. And I'll do another half hour of cardio. Um, 
I don't know if it'll get much higher than that. I mean, if Justin says I need to do an hour twice a day, then we're doing an hour twice a day. But I don't think I'll get to that point. I'm I'm leaning up pretty quickly and have a good amount of time still on my hands. So. Um, what, what did you, um, when, you, when I first met you, I was like 17, uh, your arms were one of your weaker arms. What do you attribute to bring your arms up so I think the mind to muscle connection with my arms just got better. Um, the same with all the other muscle groups like uh, my back, my mind to muscle connection with certain exercises so much stronger. Same with chest too and I've been able to bring up those body parts not because I was moving impressive weight or because I was trying these fancy exercises. I simply just stuck with the basic exercises I've been doing since my basement workout days at 15 and um, just getting a stronger mind to muscle connection. For example, with my hamstring training, there is no way I could do more than two exercises for hamstrings or otherwise I'll be sore for like five or six days. But my mind to muscle connection when I train hamstrings is so strong that uh, I get away with a lot less volume and the more experience I get. And you definitely don't like throw the weight or try to sling it your own. No, I mean, when I was a little bit younger, like 17 through 19, I kind of left it like an asshole is what I say. You know, just slinging weight around and um, I definitely lift with a lot more control. I'm not a fan of like this huge fad nowadays of doing all these slow and controlled reps and counting negatives and shit because you look at the biggest bodybuilders of all time jay cutler ronnie coleman uh you'll never find a video of jay cutler doing a five second negative on a leg press like he he uses quick explosive movements which i'm a huge fan of and there's science that backs that too being explosive on the concentric part of a movement is greater than uh is greater for muscle growth than doing all this slow and controlled stuff. And honestly, it's not fun for me to lift that way. You know, I like to lift uh, explosively and train heavy, but I do it in a controlled manner to where I can still feel my muscles being used. And I'm not just moving weight for the sake of moving weight. Okay, man. Well, we will be catching up with you soon here. Uh, doing those Dan and videos and uh, keep killing them. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks, Jeff. Oh, and would you like to thank our Oh. Of course, I'd like to thank Jeff Saigo, my coach Justin Harris, uh, Remy down at Elite Fitness Center, uh, my girlfriend Nicole, uh, Bro Active Wear, my uh, new sponsor. Um, they've been helping me a ton. Um, I'd also like to thank Jed North as well. They sent me a huge care package a couple weeks ago, a bunch of cool workout clothes. Um, and then everyone who follows me on social media and supports me and is always sending me encouraging messages i apologize if i never get back to you guys i get so many damn messages every day but uh i do appreciate the support from everyone you know it's truly inspiring when i have people come up to me and tell me that i inspired them and it's a really good feeling so thank you to everyone that uh continues to support my journey